Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we're going to learn how to create a circle motif. There's a lot of discussion about it so we are going to sort that out today as promised. So let's start with digitize and we're going to make our circle. I'm going to put my grid on so I can see where I am and zoom in a little bit because we don't want motifs to be huge. Um, you can, but I don't want mine to be huge. So let's pick the circle tool underneath the, uh, it, sorry, in the digitize toolbox and left click and drag and you can pick the size that you want. Let go and enter. And we've got a circle. Now we have a circle. Now we want to make this into a motif. So let's put this around the center. I'm going to change the color so maybe we can see it better. How about a blue? That looks a little bit better. Now you notice here that there's nothing else because we don't have anything selected. So we want to select the circle and we get to our create motif. You can see here I've already done one. Um, I played around with it for quite a while. You guys will love this. So let's go to create motif. I'm going to put it under my own category because I don't want them mixed in with the, all of the built-in ones because these are just going to be special ones like the skull and the pumpkins that I did. That was fun, by the way. So let's call it just circle and click OK. Now, of course, it's waiting for your input before you can complete it. Now I want to get right on there and I'm going to left click and you're dragging out and this is setting up how the motif is going to sit. I'm going to hold down the control key. If you notice, the line is straight. It's in 15 degree increments. So I like to hold down the key so I can get it straight and I'm going to click right there and let go of everything. Pattern circle has been created in category Sue's motif. Awesome, so now we have it. So let's go to delete, digitize open shape, left click. I'm gonna constrain it again. So I'm gonna hold down my control key. You can see that a little bit better now. That's how I get my nice straight lines. Click, let go, and enter. Now I have it on that, so you would be seeing I forgot to change it. So there we go. You would be seeing this. Now we want to go to our motif and we want the circle one. Hey, that's great. What if you wanted them closer? Well, that's easy to figure out. You've got all of these things that you can change any motif that you want and move it around. This is especially handy when you're using it as a fill. So let's do spacing. So let's do uh no one more point two five two five and there we go and look they're perfectly spaced you can play around with the spacing and get it to how you look but that's how to make it even and of course see that one's perfect and of course you can change the size and you can do this with any motif that you want any motif and uh, that may, that solves the spacing problem. That solves working with a circle motif and making them perfect. And that's all you have to do. Make one circle, not two. And there we go. But we can also have a little bit of fun with this because we can digitize. We could actually digitize a circle and enter. And then we can change this to motif and you have an instant flower. Of course, you're going to have to play around with that a little bit. But, you know, let's make it smaller. Point uh, four, maybe. And because I have it locked, they're going to keep it together. Uh, you can add some more. You can move them together, add some more. But you see how completely versatile that is with a circle. And it's super quick and easy to do. If you wanted to digitize a flower, you could just use this as your outline. So you make sure you get the perfect circles. You can, of course, um, also, you know, multiply it in a circle and do it that way. But if you happen to have a perfect circle made, that would work. I would call it a template. I quite often and do this. Basic shapes, you can do so much with your circle in your square just as a template and fill it in and make it look pretty. You don't necessarily have to use that part. But that is how you make a perfectly spaced, perfectly 
perfect circle motif here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. You can make that bigger and smaller. So thanks everyone for watching. Keep the questions coming and I'll be happy to make videos for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.